Okay, this is a video on creating a um, internet streaming audio player using a ESP32 microcontroller along with some conversion boards to um, convert the I squared S output from the ESP32 and amplify it uh, as an analog signal to the speakers. It's a stereo setup that um, they're about to show. The data arrives via Wi-Fi from uh, websites, so web URLs, um, streams into the ESP32. It's converted to I squared S and uh, output through these boards to the speaker. We also have a volume control and uh, we'll go through all of that. Um, take a look at the code. We'll start by pointing out the library that we're using by Wally Shreepfull. Uh, there's a GitHub URL, we can go get that uh, library. Uh, download the library as a zip file and add it to your Arduino IDE. And then you'll be able to use this audio.h or include it in your code. And it's the uh, code that does all the work for uh, the audio processing, makes the code really easy to, um, to write and to use. Um, Okay, on the output from the ESP32, the I squared outputs are three pins. That's the digital out, the clock, and the left right channel select. And those are on GPIO pins 25, 26, and 27. Looking back here at this, that's uh, the yellow and the green and the blue wire coming out of GPIO 25, 26, and 27 from the ESP32. That goes uh, directly into each one of these boards. It's a serial stream of output. Um, so both both boards see that stream of data uh, identically, and then it needs to decide whether it's a left channel or right channel data, just by um, ignoring um, the data that doesn't, that doesn't apply to the left or the right. Um, and that's set up by um, holding the voltage on the SD pin on these uh, max, 98357A boards to a certain voltage range. And let me go back over here and show you the notes on that. Here we go. The max 98357A is the board that converts the I squared S to an analog output uh, to send off to the speakers. In order to set that board up as a left channel, the voltage on the SD pin uh, needs to be greater than 1.4 volts and on the right channel or the, the right SD pin needs to be between 0.77 and 1.4 volts. Uh, there's an internal 100k pull down resistor in the MAX 98357A board so we need pull up resistors in order to get those SD pin voltages uh, to where we want them and the pull up resistor goes between the SD pin and the um, 5 volt supply or the voltage supply. Um, I've set that up by just trial and error. I've got a 100 ohm pull-up resistor on the left channel and a 470 ohm pull-up resistor on the right channel. And that gives me the voltage voltages within the range, uh, within the required ranges. So that's these resistors here, 100 ohm on the left and uh, 470 ohm on the right with a five volt supply. Actually, I'll take a look at that voltage I've got uh, my multimeter set up. I just look at this. This is the SD pin wire right there, and that's at uh, two point, roughly 2.5 volts, um, which is above the 1.4 volts to control the left channel. And then over here, on the right channel, with the 470 ohm resistor, I get one point, roughly 1.1 volt on the SD pin, which is between the 0.77 and the 1.4. So with that arrangement. This drives the left channel, and that drives the right channel speaker. Um, let's see, the voltage on the GPIO pin 34, that's this pin right here, that is uh, controlling the volume, and that's uh, the 3.3 volts from this pin, 3.3 volt output, of the ESP32 is run into um, one side of this uh, 1K potentiometer, and then the center pin goes off to GPIO34 as an input, 
uh, the other side goes off the ground as a shunt. So when I change this volume level, you see the voltage on the voltage on GPIO 34 is going to go from zero when I'm all the way to the left, all the way up to the 3.3 when I turn it full to the right. That's how that volume is controlled. And inside the code, there's a map of the of the voltage values, a map to zero to 100%, which controls the volume. We will uh, take a look at the code. All right, here's the audio.h library that comes from the, um, the code downloaded from GitHub. This is the, the code that does uh, all the work on the audio side. Here are the pin assignments for the I squared S output from the ESP32. Pins 25, 26, and 27 are for digital out, uh, clock, and left, right select, uh, respectively. There's the potentiometer input pin, which is an analog input pin that's on GPIO 34. Once again, we're going to limit the voltage to the input on the um, GPIO pins to 3.3 volts. That's just a requirement to keep from damaging the board. Um, on some of my um, ESP32s, I have an internal LED pin that I use for um, just as an indication for a blue LED for whether or not the Wi-Fi is connected. Um, in any event, not all the boards have that. Uh, here's the volume control steps, and it's basically it's from 0 to 100. We'll do some mapping later in the code for that. And then we um, have a, another variable set to um, control the number of tries to connect to Wi-Fi. The, the audio comes in via Wi-Fi from uh, web URLs, streams into the ESP32, and then is output through I2S. Here are the um, connection details for the Wi-Fi account. Uh, you need an SSID and a password, so fill those out for your particular Wi-Fi system. Here's the audio object, the audio class that does the work for the audio. Here's how we set up the audio. Uh, we set the pinouts, the, um, the clock, left, right, select, and the digital out. Set the volume level based on that mapping of the potentiometer pin to 0 to 490, 4095. Uh, it's a 12-bit um input so it's 0 to 495 we mapped that between 0 and the volume control steps which is that 100 percent um set the volume to the level whatever it finds when it starts up print out the volume level connect to wi-fi um yeah we're using the arduino wi-fi library to do this um try a number of times to connect to the wi-fi and then do something with the led to show whether or not the uh, and print out a message whether or not we connect Here's how we connect to the audio. This is just a switch statement which has a bunch of different URLs so you can actually try um, to listen to uh, music or content from various URLs. It's just there as a convenience. And then we get down to the, um, now here's a method to blink the LED, that blue LED. Uh, this is the setup method, um, setting the pin mode to output. Um, that's the one we use for the Wi-Fi status. Connect to Wi-Fi, set up the audio, select a channel, and then uh, connect to that channel uh, using that audio pointer to the audio object. And then loop. We loop by um, you know, constantly checking the volume level, resetting the volume. If we turn that knob, we change that level, and then just loop to play the audio. And that's all of the code. So... Um, yeah, I'll post a link down below to the code on GitHub. Once again, this is what the whole thing looks like. And, um, yeah, that'll do it. Thank you very much for watching.